Terrorists struck around the world Friday, beheading a man in France, gunning down dozens on a beach in Tunisia and launching a suicide attack on a mosque in Kuwait, in a series of attacks that followed an ISIS leader's call to make the month of Ramadan a time of calamity for the infidels. There was no confirmation that any of the attacks were ordered by ISIS, although the suspects who attacked a U.S.-owned gas factory in southeastern France left the terrorist army's flags next to the severed head of their victim. If the attacks were indeed an answer to ISIS spokesman Abu Muhammad al-Adnani's recent call for savagery, it would represent the hideous perversion of Islam's most holy period, which began June 17 and ends July 17. Jihadists should make Ramadan a time of calamity for the infidels. Shiites and apostate Muslims, Al-Adnani said in a recent audio message. Muslims everywhere, we congratulate you over the arrival of the holy month. Be keen to conquer in this holy month and to become exposed to martyrdom. The attack in France occurred first, at 9.50 am, local time in saint quentin Falavier, northwest of the Alpine city of Grenoble. Two suspects dressed as deliverymen crashed a car into an industrial gas plant operated by Allentown, Pennsylvania, based Air Products and Chemicals, stormed inside and killed at least one person. The head of the victim was left on a fence, with Arabic phrases scrawled on it and ISIS flags nearby, Sky News reported, citing French legal sources. The unnamed victim was a businessman at a local transportation company and the boss of a man arrested in connection with the attack. Nearly simultaneously, two gunmen attacked two hotels in a Tunisian coastal town popular with British tourists, killing at least 28 and wounding 36. The health ministry said the dead include Tunisians, Brits, Germans and Belgians. A third attack killed at least 16 in a Shia mosque in Kuwait City. ISIS is comprised of Sunni Muslims, and its members have a long and bloody history with Shia Muslims, as evidenced by Al-Adnani's call. The attack came immediately following Friday prayers. There was no claim of responsibility, but ISIS has claimed responsibility for bombings at two different Shiite mosques in Saudi Arabia in recent weeks. French officials wasted no time labeling Friday's attack an act of terrorism. The attack was of a terrorist nature since a body was discovered, decapitated and with inscriptions, French President François Hollande told a news conference in Brussels, where he cut short his attendance at an EU summit to return to France. Hollande and his Tunisian counterpart Beji Kadesevsi expressed solidarity in the face of terrorism, according to a statement by Hollande's office.